All right, I want to give you another update on these four kilovolt lithium batteries down here. You know, the one thing I noticed in this battery bank, this is wired in series. Now, if you remember, I had a 24 volt inverter before. So they were wired in together here for a 24 volt battery, then wired over here for a 24 volt battery. Now, check this out. The ones that are reading 100% state of charge is this one and this one. I can't get these guys to reset the SOC and the BMS. All right? So maybe another thing going on here that I may have missed or I don't know. But let me show you one thing that I got hooked up here. I just got this in today. This is a... Power Pow Mister battery equalizer balancer. And thankfully, it has long enough cables to go right on the studs of the batteries. And I've got this battery bank, well, as much as I can do to it, you know, with the charger on that one for a day. Hell, that one out down there for two days. Um, but the state of charge right now, 100%, 78. 100 percent about 76 77 on that one excuse me got a little allergies going on but let me show you on the computer what i bought for 56 bucks this is not the kilovolt version for 75 bucks and shout out and thanks to uh a viewer for sending me a link I may still have to get it <laughs> but I'm gonna try this dog out here for the next few hours try to get these voltages to marry up a little bit better right now I'm sitting at 13.43 13.63 13.41 for a total voltage of 54.12 no loads the only load I have going on is that fan right down there through uh, that DC to DC step up converter, step down converter, 48 to 12, and that's it. So very minimal load. Inverter shut down, no charging going on. And we'll see how, see if I can get these within 0.1 volt of each other. Heck, they might even go dead on. They're doing something. I'll be honest right now, I've had this hooked up for about 15 minutes. It looks like this one came up a little bit. This one came up a hundredth of a volt. These have gone down a couple hundredths of a volt. So it may, may be doing something. I'm going to keep messing with it and see if it changes. But I need to have this battery bank working because tonight we're supposed to get thunderstorms and hail and wind and, and I need to you know, have backup power for the house. You know, I run six circuits right over there into the mains, as you all know. I got them all shut down buying grid power right now. So, that's where we sit. And uh, I want to do a full discharge, like many viewers are saying. And hopefully, that'll reset the internal BMSs on all four batteries, get them down to below 5% or zero, close to zero, basically you might have to do individual 12 volt battery discharging, but try to get them to reset themselves, sort themselves out, and with that balancer, try to bring them up and have them all read 100% state of charge. That's the goal. Uh, <laughs> I mean, kind of a pain in the ass. You know, $9,200 in batteries right here. About two years, well, just under two and a half years ago. And uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say any more about what I'm going to do if these don't do their thing. But um, I really appreciate all you guys' insight and comments and suggestions. Really, really appreciate that. I will remember that. I will remember that. So I'll keep you posted what's going on. But have a good Sunday, and I'll let you know what happens. Thanks for watching.